Great day, awesome students. I hope you are doing well. I would like to congratulate you all for your accomplishments last semester. Now, congratulate dahil approve ang title mo. Today's lesson is about identifying problems and asking questions. This is the introduction section. But before we begin, let me enumerate the outcomes of learning. At the end of the lesson, you will be able to first identify and define research problem. Second, formulate a clear statement of research problem. And third, compose an introduction that follows guidelines and format. Now, I have a question. Do you think we need to identify the research problem before writing an introduction? You're right. Of course. In fact, Creswell 2012 says that this is one of the most challenging of conducting a research that leads to a need for your study. Without knowing the research problem, readers do not know why your study is important and why they should read your study. Got it? I think so. You may be asked, what is a research problem? Research problem, this is the area of concern that needs to be addressed in your study. In your research title, what is the area of concern that needs to be addressed? That is the research problem. Creswell 2012 also suggests questions that a researcher like you may ask in identifying a research problem. First, what was the issues, problem, or controversy that the researcher wanted to address? Second, what controversy leads to a need for this study? Third, what was the concern being addressed behind this study. We are done identifying your research problem. Now, we can start constructing the introduction. Here is the format in writing introduction or what we call research problem statement. It is composed of paragraphs that introduces the research study. Each paragraph discusses a specific part or elements of introduction. In fact, these elements of introduction are the application of three rhetorical moves by Swales 1990, which was discussed last semester. I hope you remember it. It contains the following. First part is the argument or claim. This is the move one in the three rhetorical moves where you need to establish a research territory. This is the part where you need to show that the research area is important, problematic, or relevant in some way. Here are the points you need to consider in writing this part. This section introduces where the research is coming from. You need to state here the research problem. The statement of the research problem should be concise and should identify the key factors or the variable of the research study. The writer creates a clear rationale for the importance of the study. And it states a glimpse of the background of your research. In this section, you can elaborate on the significance of your study for researchers, practitioners, and policy makers. You can, you can consider that also. Let's move on on the second part, which is the discussion of variable. 
But before we discuss the points you need to consider in this part, let us first define what is a variable. A variable is a characteristic that takes on different values or conditions for different individuals. It varies or changes within a study from group to group, person to person, or even within one person over time. For example, age, gender, ideas, achievements, confidence, and etc. In this section also, you need to discuss variable. What is a variable in your study? Mention it then. Elaborate sufficient explanation of the variables in your research. Next is the third and fourth part of writing an introduction. Relate the literature that supports and contradicts your discussed variable. This part is important because you will provide evidences to prove the mentioned variables in your study. In this section, the move one in three rhetorical moves is being applied where you need to introduce and review previous research in the field as part of establishing the research territory. Here's the point you need to consider. This section comes with a related literature that will support, which is the third part, and contradict, which is the fourth part, the variables in the study. Whatever details regarding the variables must be written in this section, and of course, it must be cited properly to avoid plagiarism. On the fifth part, you will discuss the research gap. This one is the is the most important or one of the most important part of introducing your research. Let us define it. When we say research gap, it refers to such unexplored or underexplored areas that have scope for further research. Moreover, this is a research question or problem that has not been answered in your area of interest. In other words, you need to claim what is unclear in the field of your research. Claim something is wrong in the previous research test as what have mentioned on the move to in rhetorical moves wherein you will establish a niche. This section also clearly states the research gap in the study as what I have mentioned earlier. Then provide statement or elaborate on how you will fill that gap. Last point you should not forget is that previous research or literature reviews will help you in identifying the research gap. After discussing the research gap, the sixth part is the related review of literature that will emphasize your research gap. This section is where you will highlight the gap which was stated on the sub move of move to in establishing a niche. You need to provide relevant literature that will highlight or emphasize your research gap. Then on the seventh part, this is the section where you will state the goal or purpose of the research. We apply here the last move in three rhetorical move where you will occupy the niche by outlining your purposes and state the nature of your research. This section discusses the aim and objective of the research. It also entails the goals from the start up to the result of your study. 
Lastly, it elaborates the reasons why the study adds to the scholarly research and literature in the field and how the study helps improve practice. For the last part, you will discuss the related literature that supports your goal. The section details the discussion of the goals or purpose of the study by providing contributory related literature. And one ethics that you should not forget, it must be cited properly. I hope you learned from our discussion. Happy writing! Thank you for listening and God bless you. learning at home with lessons made easy by Olivarian Go Teach. One proud Olivarian.